Okay, so this is just to demonstrate the time and tilt mechanism. Uh, I'm able to tilt the camera, the Raspberry Pi camera down. So here I've put the quadcopter uh, outside. Uh, I turned it on, it's now connected to the server and communicating with it. Uh, all I've done is just plug in the battery. Uh, next step is uh, connecting my PC to the internet through a 4G modem as well. Once that is done, you can see that my little program has uh, contact with the drone. Uh, you can see that the connection is 34% on the drone, which is not too good, but it's okay. I click the Arducopter button to start Arducopter and start communicating with my PC. So it's sending Mavlik commands to my mission planner through the 4G modem. And I can also test the joystick to see that it's uh, working. Uh, so everything is now connected through internet and ready to start. Uh, you can see my drone here, it's on the lawn. Okay, time to fly. Let's change the correct mode. The blue button is changing to lighter mode. And I can take off using the joystick only. So here I, I have uh, taken off and started flying. You can see how the stream is working. This is streaming over 4G connection. Um, this is at the highest quality setting, which is close to HD. Um, the latency is around 200 milliseconds. Uh, I'm pretty close to home at this point, but uh, this doesn't really change much as you move around. Uh, I can hear use the uh, joystick to pan around a little bit. Um, there's not a lot of wind, so it's pretty stable. I'm here tilting the camera down, and you can see that I'm actually over water at this point. Uh, you can see I'm switching here now to the lower quality setting. This will give uh, me a, a, a much lower bitrate. I can switch to a higher quality video but just clicking this button and you will see that the video is increasing the resolution and improving quality quite a lot. It's hard actually to see on this uh, camera. So here is another picture. I made it a little bigger. This is the live image. You can see it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm panning a little bit here. There are not any artifacts at all. This is this uh, video stream is using about ten percent of the capacity of the of the connection. You can see that I'm having two hundred and fifty kilobytes per second to do the video stream. And I know this 4G connection can do at least, I don't know, 4 megabytes or 2 or 3 megabytes at least. So almost 10 times more if I really wanted to. But the camera on the Raspberry Pi doesn't really improve much if you go beyond 500 kilobytes per second. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, the next step I'm going to demonstrate is how to 
land it and I'll just click the red button here to activate the uh, return to home. The quadcopter is now hopefully going to land. Outside the house, the summer house. Okay. It's turning around and it's not starting the ascent. And I just tilted the camera down. And hopefully it should be coming down any second now. It's not the fly. Hopefully it's coming. Yeah, there it is. I'm very happy with this quadcopter. It's extremely stable. Um, and there it lands. Okay, 